What if I told you that the Air Force's legendary F-117 Nighthawk stealth fighter, that bizarre angular aircraft that shocked the world during Desert Storm, almost had a Navy twin brother? Picture this, the world's first stealth fighter, launching off an aircraft carrier deck disappearing into enemy airspace undetected. Meet the F-117N Seahawk, Lockheed's secret proposal for a carrier-capable version of the Nighthawk that could have changed naval aviation forever. This wasn't just a pipe dream, it was a fully developed concept with more powerful engines, expanded weapons bays, and even air-to-air -air combat capability. Today we're diving deep into one of aviation's greatest what-ifs, the stealth Seahawk that almost gave the Navy an invisible edge decades before the F-35. The F-117A Nighthawks story begins in the 1970s, rooted in Cold War necessity and lessons learned from Vietnam. American engineers faced a critical challenge, how to penetrate increasingly sophisticated Soviet air defense systems that were being exported worldwide. The answer lay in stealth technology, the ability to reduce an aircraft's radar cross-section to evade detection for as long as possible. Ironically, the theoretical foundation came from Soviet physicist Pyotr Ufintsev, whose 1964 paper Method of Edge Waves in the Physical Theory of Diffraction showed that radar returns depend more on an aircraft's shape than its size. This groundbreaking work, largely ignored in the Soviet Union, caught the attention of American engineers who recognized its revolutionary potential. Lockheed Skunk Works, led by legendary designer Kelly Johnson, seized upon Ufimsev's theories. In 1975, they launched the classified Have Blue project, a technology demonstrator featuring radical faceted surfaces designed to scatter radar waves away from their source. The design philosophy was revolutionary instead of sleek curved lines that characterized traditional aircraft. Have Blue utilized sharp angles and flat panels that would deflect radar energy in predictable directions away from enemy receivers. Two Have Blue prototypes were constructed and began flight testing in 1977, the same year Atari launched its 2600 console, and Star Wars premiered in theaters. Despite numerous challenges, including severe stability and control issues, the program successfully demonstrated that achieving extremely low radar cross-sections was not just theoretical but practically achievable. This proof of concept was absolutely critical for what came next. 